Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from our Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, we of course got a, another Tinker Crate in from Kiwi Company, and as you can see on the front here, it does say Puzzle Box. Let's uh, go ahead and open the box, check out all the parts inside, we'll get to building and see what it does. All right, everybody, so here it all is. As you can see, we have a handful of parts. We've got our blueprint and our Tinker Zine. Of course, we'll start off with our Tinker Zine here. And uh, if you guys have seen previous episodes, you would know that uh, the Tinker Zine describes kind of what this is all about and gives you a little bit of the uh, understanding, like the science behind it and things like that. Here, it's talking about uh, puzzles and how they're uh, a way to test your creative thinking. Uh, we're there we're showing the uh, they're showing the evolution of puzzles and you can see of course the one down there the Rubik's Cube which most people uh, have seen or have played with before and uh, a few other things so lots of information in here uh, next we've got we'll go with this right here and um, it's just some plastic pieces uh, they look like uh, somehow maybe they'll interlock with something I'm not sure uh, they kind of make me think of, uh, of uh, building blocks like uh, Legos or something like that. Uh, we've got a, uh, a package here and looks like, I think these are, I think these are magnets. Uh, it's talking about magnets in there and that's what it looks like. They look like magnets right there. Uh, we've got some, uh, some different things here. There's some, some nails, some little uh, brass brads. Uh, there are some, uh, looks like some washers and some, uh, some nylon like sleeve type things. Uh, then we've got a lot of the foam stickies. We've got some strips, some circles, uh, looks like there's some octagons in there and, uh, you know, lots of different colors and, uh, styles and shapes. And then we've got some, some other pieces here, got a few cardboard pieces, there's some circles some rectangles, some other shapes, as well as some bigger uh, pieces here. Uh, looks like these are gonna be pieces of the sides. And then the last thing we've got, of course, is the blueprint or the instructions. And uh, with this, as you can see, there is what it looks like kind of put together. Uh, there's a better picture of it as it's put together. And uh, we open it up a little further shows us some more information uh, kind of how the, it says how to use it and things like that and then of course on this side it is the instructions for building so uh, let's go ahead get all these uh, parts out we'll get to building and uh, here in a few minutes you'll see what it looks like All right, everybody, so here we go. We've got the box all put together. Kind of got it figured out as to how it works and everything, of course. Uh, helps a lot when you're the one putting it together. But uh, as you can see, simple little box. Uh, now, as you can see on the sides, we have these little magnets. And I went ahead and left those there. Uh, you can, of course, take those off so that it doesn't really help give it away. But uh, those are part of the locking mechanism. But then, as you could see, we did have some nails and those other plastic pieces in there, and those are actually part of a locking mechanism too. It's uh, basically a two-part lock. So um, the first thing we want to do is we want to get those nails out of the way. And uh, so to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to take and spin the box. And that should, hopefully we got this uh, spun out the right way. Try it on this a little better. Spin it, 
and now all the nails should be separated out uh, to the sides so they're not blocking the center piece here. The next thing we want to do is move, let's see if we can get the hook to move that one, turn it that way, and then this one, keep it close to the brad there, and turn to there, maybe a little higher. Now that should unlock it. Let's see how well we did. There we go. So piece came off. Now, as you can see here, the uh, nails are spun out to either side. Uh, and that's because of the centripetal force that pulls the nails out. There's also, like I said, the magnets, which I'm sure you saw me put the hooks on earlier. Well, those hooks will grab onto these little tabs right here. And since we have the little washer on there, when we move the magnet around, it turns the hook inside. So now the hook is turning and say my thumb is part of the hook. When you have it up this way like this, it's like that and the, ma the magnet and the washer would be right there. And then when you turn it back around, the hook comes across and that's where it hooks in here. So uh, if you guys want to check this out, go ahead down there in the description below. Of course, there's going to be a link to uh, the site there for Kiwi Crate. And uh, while you're down there, don't forget to check out our social media. And uh, also, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Along with that, you can uh, hit that uh, little bell icon, ring that bell, and it'll notify you when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. But uh, yeah, and uh, just to let you guys know, we're almost at the end of the series. We'll uh, go ahead and check out the last couple of boxes before we finish out the series and, uh, you know, see what they are. And if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and shoot them down there in the comments below. All right, everybody. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day and I'll see you later. Bye.